Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing uh, something that's sort of kind of tradition on my channel, but not really. I'm going to be doing a collection video, um, specifically showing off my PS5 collection. Um, I've done a few collection videos in the past, I've done one on my PS4 collection a few years ago. I would totally do more of them on my PS4 collection, but the problem is this collection has gotten so massive now that it's I, I can't film a, a PS4 collection video in a reasonable amount of time. Like, it would just take forever to go through it all. Um, I also made a video about my Switch collection. That one I might do another one on soon, but that one's pretty big now too. So, yeah, we're going to do one on my PS5 collection. Now, this collection is pretty small right now. It's only got 13 games right now. And that is mainly because the PS5 just came out literally a month ago. So, I mean, there's not really a whole lot out for it that I can buy. So, only got 13 games here, um, but I'm going to be going over all of them. And, yeah. So, yeah, I guess we could start off with the first game in here, which is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, PS5 launch title. I think I've unboxed this on the channel before. Um, I haven't really played this game, actually, all that much. But what I have played is pretty decent, but I'm not really super into RPGs. So, yeah. Uh, second game is Black Ops Cold War. Um, I quite like this game. Well, at least I like the campaign, the multiplayer, the match, the way they have skill-based matchmaking. I hate that. Zombies is all right. Campaign is pretty good, but I just don't really like multiplayer. But yeah, campaign, I, I do recommend. If you haven't played the campaign in Cold War, play through. It's really good. Um, third game here is Demon Souls. I hate Souls games. I don't know why I bought this game. I think the only reason why I bought this game was because it was a launch title. <laughs> Um, I actually really like this game, though. I, I don't normally like Souls games, but this game is tolerable for me. I don't know. I, I suck at video games, so that's why I'm not a huge fan of Souls games, because they're always really punishing and hard. This game, though, is pretty decent. I actually quite like it. I'm a decent length through the game, I would say, so... And I'm enjoying myself. It's actually pretty fun. It is hard, definitely, but it's something that I... I at least I can manage. So, yeah. Um... Fourth game is DMC5 Special Edition. Um, there's not really a whole lot to say about this game. It's a port from the PS4 version. It's got, like, ray tracing and stuff. It's definitely better than the PS4 version, but it's not, like, a huge, huge upgrade. But it's nice having, like, all the DLC on the disc and stuff like that. And the 120 hertz support is nice, too, which is which is cool. And the I haven't even touched Virgil mode yet, but, yeah, some new stuff, stuff like that. It's, pre it's a pretty decent game, though. Um, next up is Dirt 5, which is a game I really, really want to love, but man, this game has some issues. Um, it, it's a shame because underneath all of its issues is such a fantastic arcade racer, but man, yeah, this game's got some issues, which is a shame, but yeah, it's a decent game, it's okay, but eh, not really, I was pretty disappointed by it. Next up is Immortals Phoenix Rising, which is kind of like a... It's basically if Breath of the Wild was made by Ubisoft. And honestly, I like this game a lot more than Breath of the Wild. I find that the gameplay is just, I don't know, more enjoyable for me. It, I don't know what it really is about this game, but I just find this game a bit more enjoyable than Breath of the Wild. But yeah, I quite like this game a lot, actually. This game is pretty freaking good. So yeah, I recommend this one. Next up... NBA 2K21, and uh, this game I only really bought because the shiny box art, because it's really shiny, and yeah, that's basically it. I think also another reason why I bought it was just because it's a launch title as well. Um, I don't really play the NBA games. This one, I, 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 I've played NBA games recently, and I haven't really liked them, but this one's a lot better than the ones I've played recently, and I, I think this game's okay. It's not really, it's not really my thing though, but it's, it's a lot better than the ones I've played recently, which is nice at least. Um, next up is Planet Coaster, and I really like this game. This game is really good. <laughs> um, I really like Tycoon games. They're really addicting and fun, and this game is no exception. This game is so good. So, yeah, this is also technically the first ever PS5 game to release because this game came out two days before the console itself launched, which is interesting. 
Next up is Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, um, another game that I really, really, really like. E even though this PS5 version honestly kind of sucks, um, they didn't really do anything for this PS5 version over the PS4 version. Uh, they they kind of, I think the only thing this game has over the PS4 version is the vibration, actually. Um, they, I don't even think they upscaled any of the assets to 4K. It's literally just the same thing as the PS4 version, but... The game itself is really, really good, and I recommend it, so, yeah. Um, next up is Sackboy A Big Adventure. This one's another really, really good one. Nice little uh, platformer. Doesn't really do anything all that unique, but it's just really, really, really good at what it does. It's a pretty good game. So, yeah. Um, next up is Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, this game I actually got a platinum for, mainly because there wasn't really a whole lot to play when the PS5 launched, so I just played this game a lot and ended up getting a platinum. I don't really think this game is as good as the 2018 Spider-Man, but it's still pretty solid. I quite liked it, but yeah, I don't really think it's as good. The story wasn't as good, um, for the most part. There's some really good moments in the story, but a lot of it was just kind of generic, to be honest. Um, but it's still a pretty good game. I quite liked it. So yeah, I'd probably give it like an 8 out of 10, if anything. If I were to give like the original one like a 9 out of 10, I'd probably give this one like an 8. Um, next up is Warhammer Chaos Bane, which is like a, a Diablo style game. I haven't really played this one too much because I literally just got it recently. Um, but from what I've played, it's pretty decent. Not as good as, as normal Diablo, but still pretty solid. It's got all the DLC and even a few updates on the disc, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, finally, we got Watch Dogs Legion. Um, I was really looking forward to this game, mainly because I freaking love Watch Dogs 2. And this game is definitely not as good as Watch Dogs 2. It's, I'd say, a lot closer to the first game in, sort of, in terms of quality. It's not bad by any means. It's pretty decent. It's just, it's not really as good as Watch Dogs 2, unfortunately which I was kind of hoping, but it's all right. It's decent. Yeah. So yeah, that's all my PS5 games right now. Of course, I'll probably have a lot more PS5 games in the future. I might do more collection videos in the future, but yeah, that's pretty much all my PS5 games for right now. So yeah, if you, if you did like this video, leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.